being able to set a custom DXVK config file for a PC game can go a long way to truly customizing the user experience. With it, you can enable an in-game HUD to watch performance, manually enable a synchronous pipeline compilation, limit the number of CPU used, used for shader compilation, and so much more. But not everyone knows how to use these in the Game Hub emulator. So today, I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up. For this to work though, you'll first need to set some things up ahead of time. You'll want to use your File Explorer app of choice to create a special folder. I use Solid Explorer, but you can use just about any of them. So you're going to want to find your root directory, usually labeled internal memory or internal storage. And this is going to have folders like alarms, Android, audiobooks, DCIM, documents, downloads, all of that. So in your root folder, you're going to need to create a folder. Now I'm labeling this DXVK all in lowercase, which will be important, but you can actually name this anything you want. When we go into here, we're, this is where we will store our custom DXVK config file. Now this is basically just going to be a text file with a bunch of different configurations that have been set. This was one that someone is using for the Need for Speed game. And we're going to save that file in that newly created folder. So you can see we have the dxvk.conf file within that dxvk folder right there. And again, this is all in our internal storage. You can create this file manually and fill out those details, or you can download that file from a website for a game that you're trying to play. Either way, the goal is to have this config file in this folder, whether that's from you creating it manually or copying or moving it there from a different directory. After you have your config file in place, we can then open up the Game Hub application. You're going to want to find the game that you want to use that config file for. And then we're going to tap on that three dot menu icon and dive into the PC settings area. From here, in the general tab, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll find an entry labeled environment variables. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And this is where you want to put this line. It's dxvk underscore config underscore file. And all of that is capital letters. Then equal. And then we have the file path for that config file that we just set up. So we're going to have that in e colon backslash dxvk backslash dxvk.conf because that was the folder that we created and this was the file name for that config file and that's it i'll go ahead and have this text in the video description below for those who may want to copy and paste it and when you're done typing this in we confirm we go back, and now you can play the game like normal, except this time when the game loads up, it'll pull from that DXVK config file that we just set up. And again, that can help to boost performance, image quality, adjust user interface elements, all sorts of things. We really are to the point where some AAA games can be played quite enjoyably on Android, even after all of the emulation layers that it has to pass through. 
and being able to set custom DXVK config files for individual games is a great way to improve the user experience even more. Let me know down in the comments section below if you've had any chance to play any games through the Game Hub or even WinLater emulators. And I'll see you back here on Monday.